In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an igloo using clay u2 so we will turn on the edition mode of clay u and firstly we will create an sphere and we will select the sphere mode polygonal and we'll change the radius maybe it's quite big to 4 and the number of segments around the sphere that will be less probably around nine yes it will work and the number of segments on set i will do them 10 and okay now we have our sphere but i will only need the top part of it so i will select the faces under the ground and will delete them once we have this hemisphere, I will rotate. I will rotate it on the Y X plane, 180 degrees, to have these two faces. These two faces facing the X axis, and I will extra them selecting the extra command and copy yes and i will move them a distance that i consider will be okay to create the tunnel of the entrance so we'll select these two faces on the igloo and i will create a bridge among these four faces then we have the entrance created but we have to validate it clicking on ok I will need more segments than one so we click on ok and select this face that I will need it and delete it and now we will create two divisions on the entrance of the igloo one of them in the inner part, close to the wall here, and the other wall, and the other one mm, closer to the outer part of the igloo, to the entrance here. This will make uh, that the edges will be sharper in the subdivision mode, as you can see. And the next step I will follow is to make an offset of the entire igloo so we will select the offset tool select all of the faces and we'll move to inside the igloo like a distance to be the thickness of our wall so click on ok and i will select the inner part and we'll change it creating a new layer because I won't need it and I will turn it off and will change the name to maybe igloo inside yes something like this and now I will work just with the outer part of the igloo selecting all of the faces but those in the entrance so I will select all of the faces of the wall those two and next I will extrude them to create like the bricks of the wall I will extrude them individually so I will select extrude mode individual and now uh, we will set the distance just like this will be okay and maybe we'll we will taper them a bit inside this will work probably yes I think it's it will be okay like this so we will validate it yes and now we will select again all of these faces because if we go to the subdivision mode now the bricks will be very soft and we want to 
select we will select all of them to make an inset in all of the faces to make the bricks sharper as you can see in the subdivision mode the bricks are like very soft and like very rounded and if we make an inset selecting the inset tool right here and selecting the inset mode individual we will get a result more sharper and with a more square shape like this to make them similar to an igloo bricks so once we're happy we click on OK and validate the result for this and now we have the outer part we can turn in on the inner part and we just have to create the transition between the naked edges to make to complete the igloo and make it it a closed clay object so we select all of the naked edges and we create a bridge among them we won't set any division just one and we validate it with ok and now we have our igloo created we can maybe add uh, some more detail like a window on the walls selecting the inner face that we want where we want to create the window not here maybe this one which this one will work better so i will make an inset just uh, like in the outer like in the outer part we will do it a bit smaller and we'll validate it and that in the outer part we will also rescale and make it a bit smaller just like this similar to the one in the inner part and now we will create a bridge between these two to have our window created and now we can create uh, split sides on the outer sides of the window and we can do this again on the inner side in on the inner edges of the window just to have a sharper shape once we we go to the subdivision mode yeah i think this is a good result it will work like this and maybe we can change to render it view and we have our igloo created 